All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Gotenks at 55%. Now, I do think both the Gotenks and the Boo are quite good units, but I'm not sure that they're going to be the greatest units to actually pull for if you are a free-to-play player or even if you're just a current player on JP. I think the banners are pretty decent. Um, they do only have seven featured units, which is good. But, like, the team for... Go Let me just point out the team real quick for Gotenks and why it's just not really that good. Um, all right, so this is his youth... Oh, oops, that's wrong one. This is his youth slash special pose team. This is it. That's not, like, super powerful. Um, th this team needs more time for sure. I mean, I don't know what they're doing with the special pose, but it's not great. Uh, this team overall is just not very strong whatsoever. So, like, this is not a team... That if you're like a free-to-play player or something like that, you're going to want to run. Like, like just, just flat out. So, you know, that is something to definitely consider uh, moving forward. Like, you know, if you're going to summon for new Dokkan Festival exclusive units and stuff like this, you're going to want to make sure that they're actually, you know, be able to have good teams. So, we're looking at Gotenks today at 55%. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Dokkan Awaken him here. Um, and then we'll hop into some events, uh, test out some of the you know, teams he's on. We'll see how good this Gotenks is going to be at 55%. All right, guys. Before we actually hop in, though, there's one extra thing I do, of course, have to do. And that is to go ahead and give the sticker effect to our boy Gotenks. Of course, a new Dokkan Festival exclusive. We have to give him a sticker. Um, I have four left, so I'll use one for Gotenks and one for the Exchange Majin Buu. And I'll still have two left. And then I think um, a new Battlefield is coming in a couple of days. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at his stickers. Let, let's see how um, good-looking his sticker effects are. So here's him in base. It's almost nothing. Okay. All right. Not exactly super impressive. Here's him in Super Saiyan. It looks okay. I mean, you know, or when they when the characters have auras, it looks pretty decent. It's not really that impressive, though. This is just like Super Saiyan Bardox, right? Um, and then let's check the Super Saiyan 3 one. I mean, that looks pretty good. It, it looks okay. Um, it's okay. It's not as good as some, you know, like Beerus and stuff like that, but it's, it definitely could be, it could be worse. It could be worse. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think of the sticker effect for this Gotenks. All right, guys. So we'll start out on the special pose slash youth category team here. Um, we have, you know, Pan, we've got, uh, the 50%, or excuse me, we have the Majin Buu Saga support, uh, Gohan. We've got a few good units here. Um, okay. So... I guess we'll probably keep... We'll do it like this. This will be fine, actually. Uh, I don't want to get too many orbs for Pan. Oh, one thing I did notice I should also point out is that this uh, Gotenks right here, the friend Gotenks, is at 55%, but he does actually have a uh, level 5 attack uh, equipment on him. So his attack set will be a bit higher um, than the one that mine is putting out, right? Now, Gotenks is... He's, he's okay. Well, what is his defense, actually? Let me take a look at what his defense is here. He is getting a buff from Great Saiyan Man, Super Saiyan 1. Remember that. So, Gotenks right here gets one key at the start of turn and 100% attack and defense. So, again, he's he very much resembles um, Trunks, uh, the uh, Dragon Ball Super Trunks that came out last week for Golden Week. He's very close to that. Oh, a double super attack by Pan. So, that's two attack buffs that she's going to give uh, both Gotenks for the, the next two turns. That's good. So let's see what Gotenks hits right here, turn one. one point, that's not bad. That's not that, That's really not that bad. 1.62 right there. That's really not that bad. Definitely could be a lot worse than that. And he does greatly raise defense for one turn. So his defense was like 135k, 140k, somewhere in that range, I think. Um, so that, that was okay. That, that, was, that was pretty decent of a showing, I think, honestly, for a 55% unit. Remember that Gotenks does transform starting at turn three. Um, so we will see him actually transformed um, next turn. Okay, so here's my Gotenks again. He'll hit a little bit weaker because um, he doesn't have the equipment on. I guess let's just see how much damage he's going to do. Uh, I'm going to float off Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks for now. Now, the one thing to remember about the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit um, is that on this team, it should actually be pretty easy for him to get under 12 key, like both the tech and the physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is. So that's important to remember. Um, also, this team is going to get a lot better, like once I would have the Kid Trunks and the Kid Goten awakened, um, the new Super Saiyan versions uh, from the Bio Broly movie. Like, they're so powerful that, like, putting them on this team uh, will actually dramatically help it out. 
One thing that is a bit unfortunate is that um, Kid Krillin does not actually activate the uh, special abilities for Trunks and Goten. So that's a bit unfortunate just when we uh, think about the fact that they could eventually do like a good Kid Krillin card for the youth category, right? All right, so um, Gotenks transforms here. Uh, we do have the 50% support uh, Kid Gohan here as well. Um, I think I'll probably do this just to keep uh, Pan, you know, continuing these super attacks right here. Uh, hopefully she does not finish this boo off, but we'll see. Um, all right, so once Gotenks transforms, like, it's going to be super hard to do, like, showcases for this Gotenks, the Super Saiyan version, because he has four different procs. Um, he has a 50% chance of 50% attack two different times, and then a 50% chance of 50% defense two different times. Then he also has a medium chance of launching an additional super attack. He has a great uh, chance to stun, 70%. Um, and then he also greatly raises defense for one turn on super attack. And he, so he does he does so much. I mean, I think this guy is going to be pretty good for Extreme Super Battle Road because turn three is something you're going to see like pretty much every fight. Um, and a 70% chance to stun at that point. Two million, pretty good. Two million is not bad. Um, at 55% with a 70% chance to stun... Then his defense would be, like, radical at that point. Like, between, you know, him raising his defense on super attack and then all the different procs. So, he definitely would have been looking very good right there. Now, one issue, too, with showcasing this Gotenks, too. I like to do it in Dokkan events to showcase units. But, I mean, unless I go to the Beerus event or something like that. Or, like, the Rosé event. We're not going to see Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Because he does not... He's not able to fuse until you hit, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, turn seven and it's just like like dude like i <laughs> obviously turn seven is not easy to get to all right so he's at 133k i think i do need gotenks in the middle though because i think he's getting innocence yeah he's getting innocence from b pan so we want gotenks in the middle right here 133k defense is super good because he's about to increase it by like 65k after he super attacks and he potentially could get multiple super attacks so he is good I, you know, I, I'm, I'm liking him a little bit better now that I'm, you know, actually sat down, like, like built, like, a proper team for him and stuff like that, seeing this. At 55%, I'm actually pretty impressed. I, I think his, his actual team might be a bit better than I was thinking, too, um, especially with this Gohan, because most of it is Boo Saga characters, and that Gohan is going to be great for this team, right? He's so good. Um, let me see what Gotenks says right here. 2.61. He's not bad. Because, again, this is 55%. We're looking at these numbers. He's pretty good. Uh, he, he is definitely, I think, better than I thought. I don't know if I would put him on, again, the Beerus, Cooler, Bardock scale yet. Let me look at him a bit more, but we'll see. Um, and, again, it, it shouldn't be, well, hmm. Actually, it looks like with the Super... By the time he gets Super Saiyan Gotenks does look like it is going to be kind of difficult for uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks to hit his... Well, actually, no, because I did get one key on the board leading into the fight. Yeah, I did. So, you know, we, we actually could have gotten the 11 key super attack uh, linked with this Super Saiyan Gotenks. That's pretty good. Next turn is turn 6, right? If I go easy on Boo here, which I can't. The rotation is too good. Yeah. Um... Okay, so this is not a super attack. We're going to get a super attack for Go Gotenks. I, I think we could actually... I think we're actually not going to finish Boo off right here. I think we will hit turn 7. So we'll be able to use the active skill for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks next turn. And uh, we could see how much damage he's going to be able to put out here at 55%. Uh, keep in mind that in order to properly see how good Gotenks is, um, we would need several turns of him, though. Because Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks... Does greatly raise attack and defense for three turns. So, you know, we're going to need multiple turns of him to see, like, how strong he can get. That effect, by the way, greatly raising attack and defense for three turns is so ridiculous. Like, that's why Super Boot and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, like, once you get to that form, again, they are pretty much, like, they're, they're like, better than the cooler Beerus Bardock tier. But it's it takes, like... I can't. I actually can't believe we got to seven turns right here. Like I'm going slow, right? I'm just more so talking about the unit. I'm not really trying to the speed blitz this event. It's just about showing Go Tanks off. Um, all right, so his defense will go down a little bit initially when he goes Super Saiyan three um, because he doesn't get all the extra procs for defense. But remember that the fifty percent defensive raise will last for three turns. So that's pretty good. 
All right, unfortunately, I already used V-Pan's active skill. I kind of wish I had it for this turn instead of Super Saiyan Gotenks, but not really a big deal. Um, all right, so let's see what Gotenks does right here. Um, he also does have a great chance of doing an additional super attack. Three mil. That, damn, he is good. It, when you, he, okay. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Super Boo are so crazy. They are so nuts, but it's just really difficult to get them to come out. All right, guys, so uh, we're in an event. Now, Gotenks started out in slot number seven for me. So he immediately transformed. Um, we didn't even get an opportunity to see Gotenks um, in his base form. Uh, here, we are on the cooler Transformation Boost slash uh, Conquest of Terror, Terrifying Conquerors team. Um, Transformation Boost, it, it's so hard for me. Like, I kind of want to do a top categories video, but like, dude, it's so hard. Like, Realm of Gods, Transformation Boost, Time Traveler, Goku Family, Pure Saiyans. Like, these teams, literally every single update get, like, multiple amazing units added to them. You think, like, Time Travelers didn't? What the hell are you talking about? It's like, well, keep in mind that the Exchange Boo is on Time Travelers. So, because, you know, the characters that were sealed away for a long time, they put on Time Travelers. So, like, these lit these categories, literally every update get insane characters. Transformation Boost is just, like... It's one of the categories that eventually could be the best team in the game easily because all these transforming characters outside of, like, Vegeta and Nappa who just exchange, they don't really transform. You know, Turles just sort of get the power from the Food of Tree of Might. Then the actual fusions of Vegito and Gogeta. I'm okay with none of those characters being on the category, by the way. But, like, almost all sort of, like, change mechanic characters end up on this category. All right, so let's see here. Gotenks at 100k defense right there. Again, it's going to go up and down. His attack stat... And his defensive stat in this form, they're going to shoot up and down. Like, he's just... We're going to see different things from him um, virtually every turn. Uh, I, I mean, I don't actually think the RNG is so bad because it's a 50% chance. So, the odds are, honestly are in your favor. Uh, 1.36? Okay. So, we probably got none of the extra attack buffs right there. That was pretty low. Yeah, 1.36. I, I think... Because... Okay, so he has... A high chance of 50% attack and then a high chance of 50% attack. I imagine we didn't get either of them right there. So this is good, right? Like, the more I'm using this character, we could see more situations with him. I might... Because of all the RNG with Super Saiyan Gotenks, I may actually... Um, show him off on four teams in this video. I think I will. Y'all would probably like that if this is longer rather than shorter. Usually... These 55% videos end up being the longest ones I do, but I feel like that's kind of, that's for, for good reason, right? Because again, like, if you're a global player, by the way, Gotenks and Boo should come out in November. We've seen this several years in a row. November is when Gotenks and Boo come out. So, you know, 55%, I'm showing them on several different teams, different situations. You guys can get a real good look at what these units are capable of doing, right? At, with no dupes, because again, if you're a free-to-play global player, you know, you can't realistically expect to pull three copies of Gotenks in, like, one multi or something like that, right? It'll happen eventually to some people, but not too often. Um, but, you know, you you could have a really good chance of getting... Like, if you're, like, a mega Gotenks fan and you just decide, I'm saving until Gotenks comes out, you'll pull him. Like, unless you get, like, one of the all-time legendary shafts, if you didn't summon on Global until this guy came out, you, your chances of pulling him would be 99% with how many stones are coming out on Global over the next, you know, eight months or whatever. So, you know, keep that in mind. Well, it's seven months, excuse me. Um, okay, so really, really, really good rotation right here. This is why Transformation Boost is so insane. Because the, the the two kings of Dokkan, the best two units in the game, who are, I think are tied at the top, Blue Gogeta and Blue Vegeta are on here. And both of them are going to link up very well with this Gotenks. So, okay. Um, this is a really good rotation. Again, we have got, we've got Kid Buu here with his full passive, the 50%. Gotenks up to 120k right there. We have Blue Gogeta. Um, you know, this is just a fun... This is fun. Transformation Boost is a really fun team because with um, Terrifying Conquerors, you're able to put a lot of really good support type units on the team. That's one of the big things about that um, category. So Gotenks' defense was 120k, right? Keep in mind that it's he's going to get 60k defense after he supers, so his defense is now 180k. And he does still have the medium chance of launching an additional super. <clears throat> Looks like it's a 25% chance <clears throat> uh, for that additional super attack. So, I mean, 30 is what I would, uh, you know, prefer. Look at this, dude, look at this rotation. 
We just it, we just annihilated Majin Buu. We one turned the Super Buu. I mean, this Dokkan event is pretty weak, honestly. Super Buu, like, should be way stronger. Like, he should have, like, purple health. But, you know, whatever. All right, so Buu, good goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we're on the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Now, y'all have to forgive me here. Um, I, I was not able to bring exactly who I wanted, but, I mean, there's nothing I could really do about that. Um, currently, people don't really run Super Saiyan 3 Bardock as a leader. I, global players, I, I would like to point this out to you as well. People don't really run this Angel Goku as leader either. Majin Vegeta and this Goku are actually pretty rare. Um, so keep that in mind. I mean, right now, this is the second banner they've returned on, or the first banner they've returned on for JP, so maybe they'll be a little bit more common after this, but people don't run these guys as leaders, so, you know, I think this is the next Dokkan Fest for Global. Um, if you're planning on summoning on it, I would say don't. If you really want them, just save for the Gotenks and Boo banners, because they're added to those banners. The banners are, the Gotenks and Boo banners are, like, 50 times better than the, the Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku banners. People are going to say, oh, but LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta on the banners. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Terrific. But the rest of the banners suck. It's like Goku, the Great Saiyan Man, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The rest of the banners fodder, basically. And that's the same thing with Vegeta's. It's Vegeta, Deborah, and then Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and the rest of the banners fodder. Like, there's five, like, not great units. It's just... For both the Goku and Vegeta banner, it's five units that have been on every single banner, like, constantly, right? It's just, like, the most common Dokkan Fest exclusives ever. So it's not going to be a good banner to summon on. Um, all right. So this friend we brought has the sticker animation. That actually looks pretty good. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, I, I like that. Um, it looks to me like, that you know, they already knew that the sticker animation was coming at that time. Yeah, I believe it was already in the data when these guys dropped on GP. Oh, wow. The, the Super Saiyan 2 version looks way... But what the... The Super Saiyan 2 version looks way better. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, okay, so the reason... I'm going to have to use an item here. The reason it's a little bit disappointing, by the way, um, that I had to bring a friend Super Saiyan 3 Goku is actually because of the fact that um, Bardock gives 170% to attack, and then Goku only gives 150% to attack, but then he gives 170% to other world warriors, right? So we're losing a little bit of an attack buff here, but I just probably would not have even been able to... Uh, use this team like I, I've, I have not seen a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock in eons because the Super Saiyan 3 team is not that great right um, people would run these leaders if they would just go ahead and, and bite the bullet and drop Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Go um, Gogeta but you know they haven't all right so 1 million right there not I mean not the greatest um, we'll see by the way if we'll be able to get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformations Remember, he does transform if there's one enemy and they're above 80% HP. Well, I guess no matter what, we are going to get this Goku to transform, huh? Because, uh, okay, yeah, we're going to get a transformation. Because either the next Goku's not going to transform because this Boo's not taken out, or we do take out this Boo in one hit right here, and then we will transform next time. Oh, okay, we're going to get both. Awesome. This worked out very beautifully. So both Super Saiyan 3 Gokus will transform. Keep in mind that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is very key orb hungry. Um, both him and Majin Vegeta need a ton of key orbs to really, uh, effectively work. Alright, so here's Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, who's a really good support type unit. I'll probably just leave him right here. Alright, we are able to get three orbs for Goku, so he's gonna be able to hit a little bit harder. What percent in the- I think this has- Goku has two dupes? No, he has three. Okay, so this is a 90% Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Once you get the three orbs for him, uh, Goku starts to hit really hard. Yeah, three million is super good. Um, let me actually pull Goku up. Um, so I could see, like, what, what, like, every, I, I can't remember off the top of my head completely everything that he does. Um, let me take a look at it here. Alright, so, 120% attack and defense start a turn, greatly raise attack for one turn. He boosts defense up to 77%, more HP, greater the defensive buff. Uh, additional attack up to 77%, less HP, the greater the attack buff. Okay. Then he gets a 33% chance to dodge, and then 33% attack and defense with three key spheres. Wow, he's really good. Okay. And then he effect attacks effective against all types of six key spheres. Yeah, that Goku is really exceptional. It's like I find my, I find the Goku and Vegeta to be a bit wonky, but like if you're using them correctly, they are so freaking good. Like you know, I, I, I like w with everything we just said about Goku. Like you know, I imagine Goku is going to look more impressive in his Go tanks. I mean, we we would be comparing. Um, you know, a rainbow, like, the, my Goku right here is rainbow, right? And then Gotenks is not. Yeah, he's at 143k defense. That's super good. We can give him the three orbs right here. I don't think he would one-turn Boo. He might. Uh, is Gotenks gonna get extra? No, he doesn't. Okay, perfect. So we can do that. 
He's at 116k right there. So, I mean, again, his defense is going to be like 170k-ish or something like that after he super attacks once. And if he super attacks twice, he's going to be well over 200k defense. So, Gotenks is pretty good. You know, here he is on the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Them doing it like this, where these transforming units end up on the category that they transform into, really is going to, like, save the Super Saiyan 2 category and the Super Saiyan 3 category, by the way. Because, like, those two just don't have enough units otherwise, uh, you know, right? Like, but now we have multiple transforming Super Saiyan 3 units, which is really going to uh, strongly benefit um, the Super Saiyan 3 category team, which just has so few units, right? And, like, is there other characters we could get in this category that could transform? Yeah, I mean, we easily could get, like, another transforming Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I mean, that could happen. Um... I don't know. I mean, maybe like a, a transforming Super Saiyan 3 Broly or something like that. I, I, I don't know. We potentially could. Here, I'm going to put... I guess it doesn't really matter. Here, let, let's just get uh, Goku on attack right here. Let's finish his boo off. And then next turn, let's see what Gotenks does. After that, I think we'll go over to the Hybrid Saiyan team. Um, and I want to go to the Legendary Goku event. And I'm, we're just going to cut until Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is ready to come out. Because we've seen a lot of Super Saiyan Gotenks throughout the video, right? So we're gonna, I'm going to start as soon as I could use the active skill with Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. And we're going to give him a couple of turns. Because remember, he greatly raises attack for three turns. So, you know, I'd like to have him, you know, potentially get like a couple of supers and stuff like that. Um, okay, so we could do this. Let me not get the uh, three orbs for Goku. Oh, well, I'll just use uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might right here. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't want to get three orbs, but I do want to see how much damage Goku will do without the three orbs. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, we'll take a look at this turn right here. Why oh, didn't check Gotenks' defense? I wanted to keep checking Gotenks' defense constantly just to see the different like levels he'll hit. Right? It's impossible to tell. One update Dokkan does need to do is give us a way to check what passives are active, like how many um, of, of like his different procs. Like, see, his attack was super low right there, so he probably got either one or zero of the attack buff bo boosts, right? Because that attack's not great. Okay, his defense right now is going to be over 200k with multiple super attacks. Um, he could potentially... Well, no. He, if he was rainbowed, he potentially could super attack again. But remember, that Gotenks is only 55%. And then you're at 2.29. So he gets a lot of extra damage from uh, three orbs. But okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and move over... Wow, we won turn this boo again. This boo is so weak. It's so disappointing how weak this guy is. Are you kidding me? All right. Anyway, let's uh, go check out Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks now. All right, guys. So now, finally, we are uh, seven turns into the event here. Um, we can go ahead and transform... Uh, with our boy Gotenks into Super Saiyan 3. Now, keep in mind that we are in the Hybrid Saiyan slash Master and Student Bond category team, but Gotenks is not on Master and Student Bond. Um, he is only on the Hybrid Saiyan team, so he is not getting a support type buff from future Gohan right here. So, let's see the type of damage Gotenks is going to be uh, dishing out right here. Gotenks is going to start to look super impressive uh, because he has a great chance... I believe, of doing a second super attack. So his attack and defense are just going to get so wild as we're going through here. He's going to be doing so much damage. Wow, we didn't... Are you kidding me? The great chance did not activate right there. The 70% chance. That's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, well. Okay. Because, <laughs> again, like, that gives him a lot of extra attack and defense. That ability to... You know, man, I mean, because considering it takes seven turns... It really should just be a guaranteed second super. It does not need a proc on there at all, for sure. Um, we'll keep Gotenks around for a couple of turns, though, um, because I, I do want to show him with a couple of different situations. We have 50% Gohan here, and we've also got LR B-Pan. So let's start with uh, uh, B-Pan. We'll, we'll flip B-Pan over to his rotation, and then after that, we'll go ahead and move Kid Gohan over the 50% support and then sort of see the attack numbers and the defensive numbers that Gotenks is going to hit. Um, Gotenks' defense on the turn with Kid Gohan is going to be so high because he gets to 100% defense at the start of turn, sure, but then, you know, the multiple turns of 50% defensive increases from his super is going to be really, really nice. So even at 55%, this Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is going to be able to dominate. It's just... He's not common. Like, like you're, it's, again, seven turns. Here in the Legendary Goku event, he will be able to completely dominate, sure. But, you know, again, you're not going to see him be able to do this too often. Um, one team I did not show Gotenks off on is Last Resort. Obviously, he'll be very good there. All right, so Gotenks right now, it's only at 90K, or 98K. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Um, 
Obviously, that would increase and get better if he had gotten his, you know, multiple super attacks before, which he did not. Um, but his defense is going to go up basically by about 50k with one super right here. And then if he gets a second super, he'll be over 200k defense. I mean, at 55%, I suppose that is quite good, huh? He'll definitely get the second super this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now he gets a lot of extra attack buffs um, going into his turn with LRB Pan and stuff like that. Uh, defense is going to be crazy high. Even if Goku super attacks right here, this is not going to do a lot. Because, again, Gotenks' defense, I think, should be over 200k right there. Um, just with both, you know, like his attack, his defense, like additionals could be very good for this Gotenks, but you're probably just going to be better off going with uh, crits for him. I don't know, because he does have a 70% chance to stun, and he greatly raises defense in his Super Saiyan form. So he probably would be a lot better in Super Battle World with full additional. I might actually give him full additional because of that. Hmm. Yeah, he really will be a lot more impressive in Super Battle World with additional. Oh, boy. I might do that. I I'll think about it. Um, so I, I might go, what, 15 additional. What would it be? Six crit, I think, and then five dodge. I might do that. I might. Um, I'll, I I'll think about it more. But the uh, him getting additional super attacks in his, well, really, I mean, base Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 3, it's all incredibly useful because, you know, greatly raising defense he does on all three forms is just such a powerful ability, right? So... Hmm, I might think about that. I might. I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty unsure. I think for Boo, I'm probably just going to go crit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely just going crit, I think, for Boo. Um, Because that, that would be a lot better for the, the first two versions of Boo. Because he greatly raises attack for one turn, which is cool. But I'm not as interested in that as I am in the multiple procs of the defense, right? So, okay. So, now we'll use LRB Pan's uh, active skill. Um, Gotenks' defense, by the way, is going to be like, what, like 150k-ish, I think, at the start of this turn right here? Let me see. Um, 131k. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, obviously, it can be better. Um, and we got B-Pan's active skill right here, so, you know, the damage at 55%, I think, is going to be very impressive. And then next turn, I would like to see what his defense is going to look like with Kid Gohan in rotation, and then we'll, we'll move into the breakdown. 4.77 is obviously incredibly good with, you know like 200k defense which he's gonna have as well like that's super strong and we get wow 5.11 you say and his defense is like closer to 300k or something now we're like over 300k wow okay um <laughs> so again super saiyan 3 goat tanks and super boo are like better than cooler cooler beerus and bardock right like for sure but it's just it, it's definitely difficult to get there like no doubt about it um i might actually need to use items here nah i should be good i should be good yeah we're okay because we have a lot of health and i don't need to be at a certain health for next turn anyway wow um i'm very impressed um that's it go tanks is super good uh, even his Super Saiyan form, honestly, I, he looked a bit better than I was thinking he was gonna. I definitely feel better about this unit after using him a lot more. Um, I will, however, like to point out that his team is pretty mid. Um, it's better than I thought, but it's it's still kind of mid. Um, and his new category special pose is pretty ass as well. Um, I, I thought my idea of the savior category would have made this unit a lot more enticing. Um, I mean, the savior category would have been OP no matter how they would have made it, but... It, I mean, it, this is a dual Dokkan Festival unit, right? Like, what's wrong with OP? Nothing. The answer is nothing. <laughs> okay. So, Gotenks, 164k start of turn is insane. That's so good. Wow. Okay, so he's looking real good with Kid Gohan on rotation. Yeah, he sure is. That is double digits. And then even if Goku... 4.47. Wow. Even if Goku super attacked after this, it wouldn't really hurt him that bad, especially if he got two supers. So, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is just an absolute animal. You are a beast. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with him. He's super good. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Gotenks' info. All right, so this is super awesome fusion power Gotenks. Um, his leader skill is the special pose category key 4 and 170% to stats, um, or the youth category 3 key, 170% to HP and attack, and then 130% to defense. At the very least, for the youth category, I that's the, the way the leader skill is that I like the best. Um, 
team is not the best, though, unfortunately. His super attack is the Victory Flash, which greatly raises defense for one turn and does immense damage. His passive skill, Massive Power Up, uh, gives him one key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Um, he has a transformation, which activates uh, starting from the third turn uh, from the start of battle. So that's obviously pretty good. Um, being able to transform just from turn three is a really good transformation condition. Um, his links are Signature Pose, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, the Innocence, Fuse Fighter, Supreme Power, and Fuse Battle. So, I mean, he, he does have good links. Um, he doesn't have Prepared for Battle or Shocking Speed, though, which some base form Gotenks do have. That's a bit unfortunate, but at least he does give himself some key at the start of turn, you know, by himself, right? Um, 12 key multiplier is 150%. Uh, that's what, you know, pretty much all Dokkan Fest exclusives have. Um, and then over here, he is on a ton of category teams. Our boy is on nine teams. Um, so starting, of course, with the Signature Pose team. Uh, we've gotten some good units added to it recently, for sure. I mean, we'll see how this team is going to eventually shake out. Right now, it's okay. Um, he's also on the Youth category team, which just got a really big buff, actually, between the new Transforming Gotenks. That Goten is solid. Then the Super Saiyan Trunks and Goten are amazing. So a really nice buff for the Youth team. Um, he's also over here on Fusion. Yep, the new Gotenks, and then that Goten are on Fusion. And then, of course, finally, um, LR Trunks and Goten have been added to Fusion as well. Uh, I'll be doing a video on them on the Fusion team soon, by the way. Um, then he's also over here on the Hybrid Saiyan team, which, of course, you know, again, got a huge buff with Gotenks and then the Trunks and Goten. So they are buffs for a lot of different teams. And then we, you know, we can say it here for the Boo Saga team as well, which, you know, Boo Saga team starting to look pretty good. Like, there's so many units, like, being added to this team now. I mean, as soon as we get, like, a good leader skill, the team is going to be insane. You could build it in so many different ways. Um, he's also over here on the Super Saiyan category team. Again, Gotenks, Trunks, and Goten. Huge buffs for so many of these teams, man. Super Saiyan category team is already great. Now it gets even better. Um, Gotenks is also on the Super Saiyan 3 category team, which just needs so much help. Uh, there's just a lot that they've got to do with that Super Saiyan 3 category team, man. Uh, I don't know. Um, like, a transforming Goku into Super Saiyan 4 Goku would be a good start. You know, we'll see what they could do here. Um, he's also over here on the Last Resort team. Uh, okay, so he's another addition to this team. This is another one of a really fun category team led by Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta. You know, pretty much all these fusions end up on it, which is nice. Um, and then finally, he's on Transformation Boost, which... I mean, do I really even need to talk about that team and the buffs it gets every single day of the week, basically? <laughs> so again, starting from turn three, um, base form Gotenks will transform into Super Saiyan Gotenks. At this point, his super attack, his passive uh, change, he gains an active skill transformation, um, and then his links, a couple of his links also change. So his super attack becomes the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack which greatly raises defense for one turn, does immense damage, and has a great chance of stunning, 70%. His passive skill, Secret Finisher, gives him two key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he has a high chance of 50% attack, and then another high chance of 50% attack, then a high chance of defense 50%, and then another high chance of defense 50%. All four of those have a 50% chance to activate. Then he has a medium chance, 25%, of launching an additional super attack. So that additional super would be incredibly powerful. If you could get a turn where he super attacks, what, three times, which would be just so like crazy with the 70% chance to stun and then the 50% defensive buff, that would be huge for him. Um, his active skill transformation uh, can be activated when HP is 70% or more starting from the fourth turn after transformation. So you can activate it either starting on turn seven or turn eight depending upon which rotation Gotenks initially starts out on, right? But seven turns until he gets transformed into Super Saiyan 3 from the start of battle is just way, way too much. Um, his links become Signature Pose, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, The Innocence, Fuse Fighter, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. So all in all, again, he is pretty good. Um, we talked about his transformation conditions for him to transform into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, right? Then his Super Attack, his Passive... And his links change once again. Um, his super attack becomes the Brain Crash Hammer, which greatly raises attack and defense for three turns. One of the best abilities the unit can have. That's so powerful. And he does immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So his stun chance does drop 
from 70% to 50%, but, like, the opportunities where you could use this Gotenks, like, I don't even know why he stuns. Like, I, I don't know of a situation where him stunning is going to matter past turn 7, because it's not going to work on Super Battle Road. He, like, I, you, I guess, technically could get to turn 7 in a Super Battle Road fight, but, like, what is that? One, a 1 in 50 chance? Or 1 in 100, like, fights in Super Battle Road or something like that? So, not gonna see that happen too often. His passive skill, Spectacular Secret Technique, gives him 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, an additional 100% attack when performing a super attack. That's why he hits so damn hard right there. Then he gets 3 key and a great chance, 70%, of launching an additional super attack from 4 turns. Uh, from when he first transforms, which is so powerful. Um, then his links are Limit Breaking Form, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, The Innocence, Fuse Fighter, Supreme Power, and Fierce Battle. So here is Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. He is a monster. His um, sticker effect looks great, by the way. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. That looks fantastic. He's a really good card. Um, I don't know that I'd recommend people summon for him right now on JP. Um, I mean, I, I think, like, skipping Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta for global and then summoning on Gotenks and Buu probably would be a really good idea. But JP players, especially if you've summoned for Goku and Majin Vegeta before, probably not a great idea to summon here. But, you know, if you're able to get Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Super Buu out, they will completely dominate. They're insane. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of this Gotenks. I think he is very good. I definitely feel a lot better about him after using him at uh, 55%. I mean, he, he was about 5 million. At 55%. That's super good. So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.